Good morning, students. Now we are going to see the chapter, the uses of present and past tenses. Okay, as you all might have known, you might have learned about the tenses. There are three kinds of tenses. What are they? Present tense, past tense, and future tense. Right? Okay. Each tense has four types. How many types? Four types. Right? Okay. First, we are going to see about the present tense. Okay. What are the types? Simple present, present continuous, present perfect, and present perfect. continuous okay so already i might have given the formulas of each types of tenses okay fine so now we are going to see the types of present tense one by one fine the first one is simple present Okay, so the formula is subject plus verb one plus object. Okay, so here when do we use the symbol present tense? We use the symbol present tense to express the habitual action. Habitual action in the sense what? So daily you do something, right? Some activities you do. What are the activities you do? You get up early in the morning. You go for a walk every day. All these come daily activity, right? So that's why I told you. First one is to express a habitual action. Okay, so I understood. Now the second one is for the simple present to express a truth, general truth. What are the general truths? The sun rises in the east. The honey is sweet. All these are the general truth. We cannot even change those truths, right? Okay. So the third one. Once you have a plan, okay, which will take place in future. but you are fixed right so in that case though it takes place in future but the time table you are fixed so in that case you can use the symbol present right what are the three things i talk now the first one is to express a habitual action the second one is for the general truth and the third one is the plan right the time table which will take place in future okay so these all come under symbol present tense fine so now we we'll move to the second one what is that present continuous tense okay what is the formula for that subject plus be formal am or is plus verb one plus ing plus object this is the formula okay so i might have taught you okay i taught you last year fine so this is the formula okay so when do we use this present continuous tense for the action goes on um, for few minutes okay or few hours continuously it is going on right so the action which is going on or taking process for few minutes example i will write go for it we are learning grammar right we are learning grammar see here the ing form formula subject is be and what is what uh, is used to give then when one learn plus ing plus object understood so present continuous is an action which goes on for a period of time continuously clear that's why it is used present continuous and the third one is present perfect okay so present perfect formula is subject plus have or has plus verb three the third form of the verb then object right this is the formula of present perfect tense okay so when do we use this present perfect tense we have a question right okay so we use this present perfect tense and just now i have completed two types what are they symbol present and present continuous so i have explained already right okay i have explained these two types of present tense what are they symbol present and present continuous so along this one we are going to use present perfect okay so i have 
just. What is this? Just this much. Okay, that means we have just completed. Just explained. I have just explained simple present and present continuous tense. Simple present and present continuous tenses. Right? Understood? See here, subject is I, have or has, have and just of course. That means I told you just happened before. Okay? And explain verb 3, then object, all these things. Understood now? So the action which got to over just before. So in that case, we got to use present perfect tense. And the fourth one is present perfect continuous. Okay, here the formula is subject plus have or has plus being plus verb one. Being okay, being plus verb one plus ing plus object. This is the formula of the subject plus have or has plus being plus verb one plus ing plus object. This is the formula. Okay, when do we use this present perfect continuous sense? That's the thing. Okay, so the action. Okay, just see this is the mingle of these two, second and third. See, perfect continuous. Perfect you find here and continuous you find in the second type of present tense. Okay, so now when do we use this? The action which has taken place already and now also it is going on continuously. For example, the building. Okay, if you are going to build a new house, it might have started in the past and in the present also it is continuously going on. In that case, only we use present perfect continuous tense. Have you understood now? So this is the types of present tense. Clear? Okay, if you are not clear, once you download this video, just go back and listen the types of the present tense once again and you may get a clear idea about the present tense, right? Okay children, now we are going to move to the second tense that is past tense. Already we have seen about the present tense, now we are slowly moving to the past tense. Okay, it also has four types. They are simple past, past continuous, past perfect and past perfect continuous. Okay, the rules are same. That means, see the formula for the simple past, only you have to use the second form of the verb, right? For the simple present, you use the first form. For the simple past, you are going to use the second form. That is the change, nothing else. Okay, so when do we use this simple past? That is what I am going to explain now. The action which has taken place, okay, it will have happened in the past time. When? The action which had taken place in the past. Okay, so that we use in the simple past. Normally, it comes along with the adverb or adverb phrase. phrase. Okay, for example, I have, I completed my homework yesterday, right? I completed my homework yesterday. So, here yesterday becomes the adverb, right? So, subject is I, verb 2 is completed, complete is verb 1, completed is verb 2. Then, object, my homework, right? And yesterday, of course, that is, I already told you, that is adverb. Clear? So, now, we slowly move to past continuous tense and past continuous tense same formula what you learned in the present continuous see here instead of using am or is here we are using was and where was and where is this b form verbs are used only for the past continuous tense right okay so now past continuous tense when in the past time the action was going on continuously right that means once you were young you might have played with your friends right so that time you can say, I was playing with my friends when I was at the age of 5, 6, whatever maybe, right? When I was, sorry, okay, I was playing with my friends when I was at the age of 6 or some whatever maybe, right? So the action which was going on continuously in the past time, clear? Now slowly we move to past perfect tense. And the same thing, here only one change we are going to make. If you compare with the present perfect tense, what is the change? Have. Instead of have or has, we are using had here. The rest of the formulas are same. Nothing to 
change, right? So when do we use this past perfect tense? The action has already finished and here we have to come back with two tenses. Okay, so I am going to explain this. Please listen carefully. Past perfect tense. Okay, so example for this. Okay. See here the example for the past perfect tense. I had finished my dinner before you reach. How many verbs we find here? We find two verbs. What are they? Had finished and reached. Right? One is the past perfect. Another one is simple past. Now we have to see why, why I use these two words in a single sentence, right? Okay, I am going to explain, listen carefully. See, here two words and two actions are happening. How many actions are happening? Two actions. What are the actions? Finishing my dinner, right? And the second one, reaching. Fine. So here, if you compare with the two actions, which action happened first? Which action happened first? You will be aware that finishing your dinner, right? So that action happened first. And the second action, what is that? Reached. So you are reached, right? You reach the place. Fine. So the action which happened first, earlier than the other one. So that one we got to use past perfect and the second action we got to use with a simple past. I hope you got understood. Right children? Okay. Now we will move to the, the fourth types of Past tense. What is that? Past perfect continuous tense. Right? Okay. So the same formula what you used for the present perfect continuous tense. Only one change that is had. Okay. So here the action which had taken place already in the past and finished in the past tense itself. Okay. So the process was continuously going on. Right? Here. Okay. The process was continuously going on in a long period of time and ends in the past time itself. It doesn't go in the present tense. Okay, present time. <coughs> if it goes for the present time, what tense we have to use? Present perfect continuous tense. Okay, once it finished in the past time and continuously it was going on for a long period of time, then only we have to use past perfect continuous tense. I hope you have understood the types of past tense. Okay children, already we have learned about the two kinds of tenses. What are they? Present tense and the past tense. Now slowly we are moving to the future tense. It also has four types. Already we have seen those types, right? Okay, so these are the formulas. Just will look at the video and learn the formula. It is must. Without the formulas you cannot even frame the sentence. Okay, so now I am going to explain the types of future tense. The first one we are going to see about the symbol future. Okay, so when do we use the symbol future? Do you remember when I told, explain about the symbol precedence? I used once you are, you are time to, the program is fixed that will take place in the future. You can use symbol precedence. Do you remember that? I hope you may remember. Okay, see here also same thing. You can use. Okay, you can use for the, you can use the symbol future tense as well. Okay, so I will come to your home tomorrow. I will come to your house tomorrow, right? So if you're there, what you are doing? <coughs> you are mentioning the time, when? The date, day you are clearly mentioning. I will come to your home tomorrow, isn't it? You are mentioning the day, when? Tomorrow. So that is about future. The program will take in the future, okay? So that's the symbol sentence. Now, we will move to the future continuous tense. Future continuous tense, same rule. What are the, <coughs> the rules we follow for the present continuous and the past continuous tense? It's a process, the action which will be taking place in the future. Okay, so for example, see the lockdown is going on now. So you don't know when it will end. So it will be going on for a few more months. We are not sure about the end, right? Okay, so we are not, if you are sure about the end, we can we can confidently say that yes, this will end by tomorrow. So we cannot say. So we can say this, we can use this one. The lockdown will be going on, right? See here, will be going on. Verb 1 plus ing, going on, 
maybe few after few months, right? So you are telling the future continuous tense. That process will go on in future. Okay, continuously. Now we will move to future perfect tense. Okay, so this is the same thing and future perfect tense, what is that I told you, explained to you, for the present perfect tense, the action got just before, over, the action got over just before, for that we used present perfect tense and for the past perfect tense we covered with the two tenses, what are the tenses, simple past and past perfect tense, then you got to see the two verbs, which verb had taken place first. That means, I mean, the which action had taken place first, that one you have to use for the past perfect. The action which had taken place second, there you have to use symbol past. The same day, future perfect tense, you have planned something that will take place in future. Okay, so that will end. Clear, in the future that will end. So in that case, you have to use future perfect tense. And future perfect continuous. Future perfect continuous and you have the plan of building the house. You have the plan of building the house or you have the plan of becoming somebody else. Okay, so if you want to become a doctor, what do you have to do? You have to study, right? Okay, you have to choose the course. So it will be going on for four or five years. So you can use that one. I will be choosing, sorry, I will have been choosing the subject or I will be having, <coughs> I will have been going for the college to study doctorate, right? So in that case you can use future perfect continuous tense. That means in future it will take place and it will be going on for a long period of time continuously. Understood? So these are the types of, these are the three types of tenses. What are they? Present tense, past tense and future tense. And each tense has four types and individually we have seen one by one, we have seen in this video. Children, so if you have any doubt, just once again you go back the same video and revise it and just to learn the formulas. It is very very important as I told you in the beginning. It is very very important to frame the types of sentences. Thank you children. Have a nice day.